this is the finished product and I don't know I guess it looks better with this kind of zoom but anyways okay 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 This is for this is probably for two weeks, and I'm actually cooking like an extra pot. I added my mm -hmm. everything there. Now I'm going to stir it up, stir it, and it's gonna be done. And then I have this one to eat. Yeah. Well, we can eat this one first. And I'm done. These are all for blending. Like I got habanero peppers, and this is like um, tomatoes, bell peppers, and just like this. And then I'm gonna blend them, and then yes, true to ever ever after, forever could even start today. Ever, ever so this is all seasoned now all i need to add is um or vegetable oil i have for canola oil that i will add and i just found out that i do not have blender so this is going to be tedious so this is some combination of beans and broccoli and cauliflower with some peppers like orange red and yellow and cucumbers and yeah so this is beef with some veggies still grilling so i'm gonna leave it a few more minutes i've got my pepper these are all the combination of my peppers with onions and i got my 
peppers now I'm going to add this habanero peppers to it These are all the veggies that are going inside here once it's ready to go. So we have kale, we have some cucumbers, cucumbers, um, olives, broccoli. No, oh, sorry, I dare say olives. No, uh, I guess some cucumbers, um, cauliflower, but spinach. I've got some onions and oh. Peace. Peace. And that is all that I've got actually. Yeah, that's all. Now, more colorful vegetables here. And I've got olive oil. Actually, I've got olive oil to do this. Although I use canola oil too, but my barbecue is ready to go. I'm ready to do my rice. And this pepper is ready to go. So my barbecue goes in here. It goes in with the pepper, and I'm going to I'm going to roast this until like it come up and now this is the blender that I got heritage, and it has like two cups of this one plate like this and this. anyway there are seven things in there so one two three four uh the caps five six seven the two caps of this and two of this and one of this actually but it's heritage and it looks okay i'll show you one it looks well and it's large enough which was what i like because when I got it there and I was like, oh, I will need something. And there was, I saw this one, it was like about this height. It's like, whoosh, I need something that is bigger. But anyway, this was it. The one that I saw was about this much height. And I need something like that, so I got this. Which is cool, because I got two cups exactly like this. And, yeah. Here's my barbecue. But then my bag for this is coming out, which is going to be ready. <coughs> and in goes the olive oil. So it's going to fry this stew into like the perfect blend of stew. And it's going to it should fry this. I think the oil should be enough. And so in goes the kale. I'm going to add the spinach. So this is both kale and spinach. So I added all my broccoli, cauliflowers, um, peas, and um, and spinach and kale. And now I'm gonna stir. It actually tastes really good. After this, I'm gonna leave it to simmer, but then before then, I'm gonna add this. So, this is a combination of um, <laughs> this is a combination of salmon and shrimp. Doesn't this this looks really full, but it's gonna save me, it's gonna last me for a few days actually. I mean, the way that I eat rice, I know it will last me a few more, a few more, a few days. Okay. So this is my, I see, this is my vegetable with, I, I honestly, I can say there's about 10 different vegetables here. So I've got onions, I've got um, three different kind of bell peppers. 
and I've got habanero that's five right there I have spinach kale um, cucumbers cucumbers I've got peas and then well I've got olive olive oil olive oil is for me vegetable it's a fruit so what else do I have in here so I I, I so I counted about eight and then I've got cauliflower flowers and broccoli so that makes everything thin so cucumber cucumbers peas cauliflowers cu um, broccolis uh, olive oil three different kind of bell peppers and I've got onions and yeah yeah and I've got abenura pepper which makes it 10 you know this is for iron this is this should be a good source of iron I know some people be like oh you boil everything now everything is all gone no like I semi I didn't even I mean all the veggies they didn't even last up to like the maximum I put it on uh, the fire is like five minutes and some are even less because I don't want it to be too soft that it becomes so brittle I didn't want that so yeah it's yeah it's still very firm that's what I want it's still very you know when like you you finish and then you you start peeling and then everything started breaking apart I didn't want that so I didn't let it sit in there on there for so long so it's not very brittle it's so very hard so it's not brittle so that's good and then I've got meats I've got salmon and shrimp and that's all I'm going green guys so here's my rice my bowl this is my food my my dinner actually this is my dinner it looks it looks fresh it looks fresh and looks good that's all that matters and this is going to be my food for the nest you know I'm thinking that I may finish this in like less than less than maybe maybe say about 10 days or seven days a week 